this is going to be really, really quick, guys. This is kind of a short piece, but it's super important because I don't think many people realize how much th th this, this even exists. So I'm excited that we're including this. So the remote UI is kind of a, a hidden gem uh, that gives you a lot of information about your printer just from not without having to get up from your computer to walk over to the panel, uh, but that you can see right there. But it also has some little hidden tools that you may not have known that you can use that are really pretty cool. So I'm gonna hand things back over to Dave to cover the Canon's remote UI. So um, what, what's nice is you can come in here, um, and I, I'm gonna leave LexJet's webpage and I'll go ahead and close some of these up, right? And you know, for me, what I have done is I'm already logged in, but all you really have to do is put your IP address in, right? So what's really important, this is one of the advantages for Mac users. Um, you know, Mac users have Apple Talk, and um, for Mac users, it will work in, in other environments where you can actually have a USB because of Apple Talk communications. I can actually put in the IP address of that printer and go ahead and communicate with that. With Windows PCs, you actually have to set it up on the network. So it has to be hooked up to a hub. Uh, you, you've got to be able to use an IP address. So in this case, it's 192.168.104. So I'll go ahead and put that in, 192.168.104. Um, and one of the things you'll see here is I've got all my printers set up here at the top is, is, you know, bookmarks. So I can, you know, pop between each one of those printers. So right now you can kind of see my printer is asleep right now. Um, I've been on this call for a while, so it was awake when we first started. I can actually log into the printer. When you go to log in to the printer, uh, it would normally ask you for a password. The password is, I've, I've turned the passwords off on all my printers because I use this a lot. The password is the serial number of your printer. And you can actually change that if you want to and set it as whatever you want the password to be. So I've made it really easy for myself so I can kind of see all my ink levels. I can see what I've got in my top. I got the Canon peel and stick, I got the Canon wrapping paper, uh, I got a brand new roll of wrapping paper and I've got 150 feet left. I've only got 23 feet left on my Canon peel and stick. Under your utilities, so this is really just kind of the, the printer status. Under my utilities, I can do nozzle checks. I can do head cleanings. Um, I can do it, you know, the head cleaning is kind of a deep cleaning. I can do a system cleaning. I can do a print head alignment with that. Uh, I can come in here and I can go to my device settings. And this is where I can set my print settings. I can go into custom settings where I can actually go ahead and, and add logos to the control panel. If I wanna have certain information, uh, it's gonna try, it wants to wake the printer up for this one. I should probably should have, um, you know, I can, you know, set stuff up. Some of the things uh, you can set these all up on, on the control panel and actually change this. Uh, how often it's going to go ahead and you know check the nozzle nozzle check frequency. Right now it's set the standard. I can do one page, ten page, or I can disable that. Um, the other thing I can do is right now, you know, operation panel lock. I can lock that if I want, or I can have it disabled. Right now I don't like to lock my control panel down, but you can lock that down if you don't want anybody walking up to the control panel and actually doing anything with that. Right now. Um, all my print jobs go to the common box. I can actually change that where I can actually print and delete those jobs as they come in. So there's a lot of setup you can do that is normally done right from the control panel that I can set up within the web UI. The other thing I can do is under my air print settings. So this is where I would set up if I want to, you know, print from like certain remote devices. Um, and you would, you know, right now I've got it air print enabled. Uh, I've got it set up as a Pro 6100. So really I've got it set up, anybody that's on the network, and if their phone is connected to the network, they can print air print. But if I did not do that, I can actually set the printer up as kind of a Wi-Fi hotspot 
and actually set that. I could also put in location information, longitude and latitude, and we have some other software so you can know where this printer is located. Um, you can do color modes, uh, you, you know, what you want is kind of your default. You can actually have it default to ICC profiles um, that you're using. So these are things when you're printing directly from the thumb drive uh, in printing to the device. Uh, oops, I did not mean to go back. I'm gonna go back and log back in. So you've got a lot of very advanced uh, features that you have uh, within this printer. Uh, I can also go in set my energy start compliant stuff. So right now I've got it set where the printer never turns itself off and the sleep time is set at 60 minutes. One of the things I most use it for is job management. So I can go to print jobs and uh, there's no print jobs that are currently printing. I can go to my save jobs and I've got 98 jobs right now in my current mailbox. But if you take a look here, I've got a whole bunch of folders. There's a fabric company, I probably should not have this on here, um, but you know, that I did a demonstration for, and you know, these were their samples. So I have those set up. So whenever I'm doing a demonstration, I have those samples in there. I've got my LexJet folder. And when I go to my LexJet folder, I've got files that are saved in here. So LexJet has a, a really nice test sheet. I know what they look at. I know what you, you talked about those folks. I have an image quality test print that I can use and send that file over after I set that media up. I've also got a Canon test sheet that we've kind of created. Uh, I can send those files over to go ahead and print uh, when I'm doing testing uh, on that printer. Like with the wrapping paper, I love wrapping papers. One of my favorite medias. I show it in every demo. So I've got a healthcare. So I've got samples that are already pre-set up. You know, we offer wrapping paper in 24 and 30 inch wide, but I got little samples. Like I've got it for, done for healthcare, police. Uh, this is kind of a Canon wrapping paper sample. I've got our logo, Coast Guard, Air Force, Army, um, baseball, um, happy birthday, um, basketball, happy birthday, football, graduation. I can kind of go on to kind of the next page here. Uh, and there's even more, as you can see, the Marines, Navy, Happy birthday, blue. Happy birthday, pink. Pink. And I've got you know some candy striped uh, print samples that are. And what's nice is you can actually go in and if I wanted to change this, I can say edit and let's say that I change this one out. I can actually change the description. I can call this uh, Canon uh, and Lex Jet. So now I can, whenever I go to my control panel on my printer, I can go ahead and release and print that. Um, so that'll be on the control panel. You can put a really good description. Uh, one of the things that I, I like about this, especially like for professional photographers, you take the time and you, and you get that perfect printout. You know, you, you go through PPL, you select all your different swatches, you've got the perfect print, you know, you, you printed that pattern, you got it exactly how you want. The print comes out, it's on the LexJet ESAT and photo paper, and you're set, right? So in this case, what I would do is I would move that print, let's say it's a 16 by 20 and 24 inch wide paper, so I've got a mat, everything set up. I would move that to a mailbox. So that way you never have to worry about those settings. I can just load that LexJet 24 inch ESAT and photo paper in, go up to my control panel and hit print and everything's gonna be perfect every single time you print it because we've got built-in color calibration and you can guarantee results now and, and really forever for the life of the printer. So uh, if you're, as long as you're properly calibrating the machine. So that's where I use the mailbox function. You have 29 different mailboxes. Um, you can also set some of your security features. A lot of these are kind of going in the home, but there's a lot of corporate customers that really care about, you know, um, you can set, you know, again, I took my administrator password off there. You can set all your different uh, settings. Uh, you've also got your 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 LAN informa information. Uh, you can go to your LAN settings here. I can do Wi-Fi. I got wireless direct. Wireless direct is it turns the printer into a hotspot. So when we go out to a trade show, and if I don't have a network drop, or if I'm setting a printer up for the first time, and I just want to sit in my office and connect to the printer and, and do some of the setup, I can just do it wireless direct. You can connect it you know, to a wired LAN, 
you can confirm all the, the, the land settings. You can, there's some advanced setup. And then your different languages in which you're going to be using as well. So we support a lot of different language formats. I, you know, I kind of hope this helps. I mean, this is a lot to kind of go over. There's a lot baked into this. But the web UI is, is really kind of a, a nice advantage. And, and, the, and the nice part, too, is, you know, again, when I'm doing kind of that, I can go back in. I can go to the job management. Uh, and I can go to my save jobs. I can go to that common box. And I can reprint any one of these jobs right from where I'm sitting right now and just, you know, select that job. So it, it, that's a really nice feature uh, with that. So um, I, I kind of hope that helps. Uh, even like with the, the, you know, the, the, I got a bunch of different print samples, 21 different print samples I've got set up there. And I can kind of go to my list view. And in the list view, I kind of like this view because now I can say I want five copies of this. And I want two copies of this. Now I can hit print. And I like this view. Uh, it really makes it nice and easy for me to go ahead and quickly print the two or three files I want to print right now.